What's going on, everybody? Today we're going to break down the meaning of the classic Billy Joel song, Piano Man. Yep. A lot of people think this is just a song about a regular piano barroom entertainer playing to a group of just regular Joes. It's not. It's not at all, is it? Nope. You know why? I do. Yeah, because it's not Piano Man. It's... Piano Man. Piano Man. Yeah. He's actually the fifth Avenger, we've discerned, right? You, From You've... You've discerned. We've, well, we've discerned. because no, he doesn't like to count Hawkeye and Black Widow. All right, side note. So I, I, I think there are four Avengers. There Iron are, Man, there are not. Hulk, Thor, Captain America. You're just rooting for an all-male team. No, nothing against Black Widow Sex or Hawkeye. Season, no. Until they get their own standalone movie, they're not a full-fledged Avenger. I think that's only fair. Well, but Hulk's movies were really bad, and you're still counting. But there's multiple of them. Oh, wow. So he's, like, putting in work. Again, as soon as Black Widow gets a, gets a movie, she can be a full Avenger. Hawkeye? Not even, clo- not even like, a third of an Avenger. Ooh. Black Widow at least has, like, Avenger potential. But Hawkeye, come on. He's, like, really good with the bow. Yeah. I don't even think we need to get into this any further. You know who's a great Avenger? Is it... Piano Man. Piano Man. That's true. Right? So we're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's get right to it. It's 9 o'clock on Saturday. Prime time for crime. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Doesn't, doesn't even have to specify it's 9 p.m. We, we know. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've read studies that 9 o'clock on Saturday is like where crime happens the most often, just universally. Yeah. Uh-huh. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me making love to his tonic and gin. Sounds like a recipe for crime, if I've ever heard one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the important part is to get to the next one, though. Okay. He says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet, and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. So how would a regular piano player be able to know what this guy's talking about with such limited information that he's been given? Exactly. Well, see, here it says, son, can you play me a memory? Hmm. So, we have discerned that he plays melodies to bring back memories. He can, like, go into the mind and extract information through the power of music of of a piano. Also, do you want to address when I wear a younger man's clothes? Yeah, so uh, we just think these are just regular Joes kind of coming in and out of this place. No. Not anymore. Every one of these regular Joes are actually other superheroes as their alter egos, just kind of enjoying a nightcap, trying to get off the streets, kick back a little bit. Yeah. Like this guy, right? When I, when I wore a younger man's clothes, the perfect clue for like a disguise, an alter ego. Exactly. Uh-huh, which everybody knows that uh, all the best superheroes have bomb disguises. Clark Kent. I mean, you don't even have to name them. You can just yeah. name any superhero. Uh, is there a superhero that doesn't have a disguise? Yeah, she, yeah even... she Hulk's a lawyer. Got all she Hulk? Yeah, she's a lawyer. She, this is a She Hulk? Yeah, she's a this lawyer. A female Hulk? Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, there's this whole thing where she has to like protect Star, Star Fox, which is another superhero. Star Fox is a Nintendo 64 game. Yeah, but no, he's a superhero. Okay, but he's a superhero where he has the power to like make anyone attracted to him. And he, there was this, like, like a there was this power like, I'd be interested this, in this like sexual assault case or whatever. And they said that Star Fox had, like, abused this girl, and She-Hulk had to be the lawyer for him. So, like, the name of the case was, like, The People versus Star Fox? Yeah, The People like, versus Star Fox. I've never heard of it. I don't even know if you're BS me right now or not, but it's fine. <laughs> That's cool. So, sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. You know what that melody is, Colin? It's, it's the melody of justice. Justice is the melody, right? Yep. It's a simple melody... But it's hard to play. It's true. Even harder to repeat. See, it says we're all in the mood for a melody. They're trying to forget. Most people come, or they're trying to remember, actually. Most sure. people drink to forget. They're drinking to remember. They want to call upon their past. That's why the, they need the piano man. That's, they need the piano man. Draws it out. Uh, it's kind of like Professor X thing. Like yeah. when he puts the, the helmet thing on. Oh, yeah. Right? Isn't that like a thing? Yeah, I think He so. can like attract other... I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of out of my depth here. <laughs> now, John. Let's talk about John. 
John of the Bar is a friend of his. Mm -hmm. He gets him his drinks for free. Superpower. He's quick with a joke. Superpower. Or a light up or smoke. Light there's somewhere that he'd rather. Be. All right, so we have three superpowers that John has. That's true. That's true. He gets free drinks. He's very witty with his jokes, mm -hmm. and it lights up a smoke. So it's like a pyro pyrotechnic guy. That's true. I'm assuming he just like points his finger out and like a flame comes up, light it up, right? Right there. But there's some place that he'd rather, where John rather be. His Colin. home planet. His home planet, of course, right? And that's why most of these people are so upset and they have to turn to drink and have the piano man help them to remember because they're so consumed with with justice, the melody with of these justice. Earthly, with these earthly problems. Yeah, so he'd rather be on his home planet. He can't get sure. there. Like most of them, they find their way to Earth from a different place. I don't, I don't blame John. For sure. It's true. So what is John doubles down? He says, Bill, I believe this is killing me. I personally think he's talking about Earth's atmosphere and how it's kind of like a slowly... You That's know. true, but he could also be referencing the fact that he's been away from his, his pyro family for so long and he doesn't know where his planet is and he cannot find them. And that's kind of like the genius of Billy Joel. The double entendre, <laughs> if you will. It's, it's killing him literally, Earth's atmosphere, smog, pollution, whatever, and figuratively exactly. just the memory of his family. As a smile ran away from his face, well, I'm sure that I could be a movie star if I could get out of this place. The movies, right? Mm -hmm. That's where these superheroes kind of live, more or less. Well, maybe mm -hmm. his family was a big movie family, you know, like... On a different planet? Yeah, like back okay. at his planet, he wants sure. to get out of this place and go back to his home and make a mm -hmm. living sort of family. Kind of like, uh, like the Wilson brothers, but like on a different planet. Yeah, exactly. Like it's maybe like... he was like Luke. <laughs> Yeah. Now he's here. He has he's, just really bright blue eyes. But nobody, yeah, but nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody knows who this guy is. Yeah, all right. How about Paul? Paul's a real estate novelist. First of all, that's the best alter ego you come up with. What is that? A real estate novelist? That doesn't look good in a Tinder profile. Like, yeah, like you write novels about real estate. It'd be, a real estate writer would be one thing. You'd write write-ups for beautiful homes. But like you're writing novels about like real estate... Like who's like the John Grisham of real estate novelists? <laughs> like I can't really, I can't really name a lot of real estate novels off the top of my head. Who never had time for a wife? I can't imagine. <laughs> Writing <laughs> books about houses really consumes his time. Yeah, didn't get a lot of attention from the ladies. He could use some of those Star Fox powers. <laughs> Is that it? And he's talking with Davy, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. Aquaman, obviously. And the waitress is practicing politics. As the businessmen slowly get stoned, I'm thinking uh, the thing from the Fantastic Four. Exactly. Does he slowly get? He's always stoned. Yeah, well, stoned. Yeah. Not yeah, not stoned. He's stoned. That's why his wife doesn't love him anymore. Is that really? That's a thing. Yeah. Like oh he, yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, because he was yeah. like, "Baby, I love you." <laughs> like, I don't like, even know who you are anymore. You're you're a rock, honey. You're, just, you're so you're stoned all the time. <laughs> Typical. Coming home at all hours of the uh, night. I know, yeah. It's mostly the stoned part, though, mostly that she had a problem with. Bit. Yeah, yet they're sharing a drink they call loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. The ultimate supervillain, loneliness. loneliness. I've had my bouts with him before, you know? Sure. It's hard to come out on the other side of that. We all need the piano man. To sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. Justice, right? Now, it's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday. And the manager gives me a smile. Every uh, group of superheroes needs a manager. You know, there's like uh, Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner there's Gordon. Uh, the one mousy looking guy in uh, Avengers. The agent. The agent oh, of S.H.I.E.L.D. guy. Yeah. Uh, Nick, Nick Cannon. Nick, Nick Cannon? What's his name? With no. the eye patch? No. The dude, the. I don't know. The He's dude in the S.H.I.E.L.D. With the eye patch, the black no, guy. No, not the. That's Sam Jackson, right? Yeah, the, he's the leader. Yeah, isn't he? sure. Nick Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Nick I don't Cannon know is like Cannon. drumline. Yeah, Nick, Nick. I mean, that's a cool superpower too. Or like putting up with Mariah Carey. <laughs> it's, it's a whole different like <laughs> level of superhero. Nick Fury. I was thinking of uh, the guy who's always Nick in Cannon the suit. Nick Cannon turns into Nick Fury. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool too. The guy in the suit, the Avengers guy. Oh, whatever. Anyway, anyways, there's a manager who gives him a smile because he knows that it's me they've been coming to see to forget about life for a while. Also just makes a lot of well, sense. Well, to remember their life. To forget about their current life. To forget, to yeah. To remember the simpler times. They're not so stressed. A lot of stress being yeah, a superhero. Superhero. I could only assume. They're very unappreciated. 
you know, we can get into that. But uh, the piano sounds like a carnival, and the microphone smells like a beer. Really subpar equipment for this superhero. Oh, well, yeah, he doesn't need, he doesn't need all those expensive pianos. He nah, just needs bare bones. He just needs those I- ivories and ebonies. That's right, that's it. He learned that in his training. I think uh, he was earmarked at a very young age, Billy Joel. Uh, the FBI found him, I believe. Again, this is all in the liner notes for uh, for The Stranger, yeah, actually. If you, Not if for you, the Piano Man's album, it's a different thing. You yeah. kind of have to do some deep diving oh. on this kind of stuff. But yeah, you know, Quantico picked him up to put him in the Quantico Piano Conservatory. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a lot of training. In fact, all the times that you thought he actually crashed like a car, drunk driving... That was all just part of his training. Yeah, he it That's started it. in Hawaii and then he went around, kind of like a Snowden type thing. He eventually mm-hmm. got promoted until he blew the whistle and became the piano man. That's right, piano man. And they sit at the bar and put bread in my jar and say, "Man, what are you doing here?" See, in my opinion, the "man, what are you doing here?" part is when they wake up from their their sleep, their dreamer sleep, and they, After they're remembering. they still think they're in the memory. They like wake when, up and look, "What like, are you doing here?" And then it's yeah, like, what what are you doing? And then it's yeah. like, no, dude, what are you doing here? Right? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Sing a song, the piano man sing a song tonight. We're all in the mood for a melody. melody. You've got, You've us, got feeling us feeling all right. all right. Well, so if you are feeling all right from that incredible breakdown of the Billy Joel classic piano man, please let us know what other uh, songs you'd like us to break down because I kind of think we're getting the hang of this now that we've got a couple under our belts. So uh, also, if Billy Joel wants to comment on this, we'd be open to. Uh, him maybe correcting us on maybe some of the stuff that we've kind of left out. Yeah, I'm sure we've got the, the general outline if he wants to elaborate. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of room for interpretation in these lyrics, as there is with any great true. songwriter. Uh, some of it is ambiguous, but I think for the most part, we kind of nailed it. All right, so until next time.